Karibu tena na shukran sana kwa kuendelea kutazama taarifa za mbio ya KTN. Tukisonga mbele ni kwamba asilimia kumi ya idadi jumla ya watu katika mataifa wanachama ya shirika la maendeleo ya kimataifa pembezoni mwa Afrika IGED wameathiriwa na makali ya kiangazi katika kipindi cha miaka miwili iliyopita. Takwimu za shirika hilo zinaonyesha kwamba asilimia 36.1 ya watu pia wanakabiliwa na ukosefu wa utoshelezo wa chakula kufuatia makali hayo ambayo yamesababishwa na mabadiliko ya hali ya anga akiotubu jijini Mombasa wakati wa kutoa taarifa kuhusu hali ilivyo katika mataifa wanachama. Katibu mtendaji wa IGAD Warnef Gebeyehu amesema kwamba jumla ya watu milioni mbili pia wamehama makwao. Ametaja walioathiriwa zaidi na makali ya ukame ni mifugo kwa ni jumla ya milioni nne nukta mbili imekufa hali ambayo imesababisha hasara kubwa kwa wafugaji vile vile kuathiri uchumi. The conflict that have affected our region other part of the continent and the world have led to a mutual recognition that Scarcity is not limited to natural resources alone, but also extends to a national will. Peace and the stability to address and to resolve internal tension is perhaps the greatest defense that states and nations can have in, in these times of extreme political polarization and internal strife. For the Igad region, the surest path to peace is to deliver progress and prosperity through regional integration and unity. I say this is history fulfilled, not only for me, but for many of us who have been given the privilege to wear the sash. And they call the council of eminent personalities. I received the letter with a measure of fear and trembling. Because I say to myself, among so many people in my country and in the region, to be counted as one of them, it took my people together with God to make them accept that I deserve to be called one of the members of the eminent personalities. Na viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Turkana wameshtumu vikali uvamizi na uharibifu wa mali kwenye vijiji cha 